this Raptor um, flowchart is going to demonstrate um, how to generate a random number and it's with a counter control loop as well. So let's do some pseudocode here. Um, we're going to first we're going to declare variables. Of course, that's what we always do first. Um, the variables we want to declare are um, integer number integer we'll, we'll just start abbreviating to get used to it counter then we're going to want a loop um, the loop will display five uh, random numbers Okay, and typically that's a for statement. Two, five. We're going to get a num random number and in the range of One through one hundred, and we're going to assign it. Well, that should go actually on the same line. Assign the number to number, and that actually is going to be a set statement in Raptor. Set number equals um, random from 1 to 100, but we know from our previous uh, video that that's going to look a little different when we do it in Raptor. And then we want to display the number. And that's going to be display number. And don't forget we have to end our for loop. Now that's our pseudocode. <coughs> Let's put it into Raptor. Okay, first we want to declare our variables. So we use assignment boxes. We're going to declare um, our integer number first. So double click inside the assignment box. We're going to set number to zero. Okay, okay we want to set our counter variable and we are going to go ahead and initialize it to one. And we want to have a loop from one to five. So we are going, our, remember our exit condition on this is a is backwards. So we have to remember that if we want to continue, if counter is less than or equal to 5. Oh, so therefore if counter is greater than 5, that is our exit condition. If it's not, then, let's get an assignment box. We want to set number to random times 99 plus 1. Okay. And then we want to display the number, which will be an output. And run. You see it's going through. 
We're getting the numbers in the list over here. And, uh, <laughs> I made the classic mistake of not in incrementing our counter variable. So, let's stop our run, and we will go in here. Correct that. We're going to set counter to counter plus one. Okay, now let's, um, let's remember by we halted the run to do that. This over here in the watch window only shows the current. Um, value that's stored in memory for each one of our variables, counter and number, so it's going to change every time through the loop. Over here on the master console, it, that's our display, that's our output, our, our console output, if you will. Okay, let's run. Okay, and we have um, <laughs> we have a loop that is not ever, never ending. We added our we incremented our counter, and it ended after the five runs, the five loops that we wanted iterations that we wanted to accomplish.